What's up, y'all? This is Robert Glasper, and you are on Riviera Jazz Club. Boom. Yeah, I've been coming here more longer than any other place. I came here in 2001 first, and I've been coming to, since 2001 every year. From my demo, I had a demo. This guy from a jazz festival used to, heard my demo and started bringing me out all the time. So I've been coming to France a lot, you know. My background and how I ended up coming to music. Well, I grew up in Houston, Texas. The gospel was my first, like, first musical love, playing in church, you know. And then um, I went to performing arts high school. Um, that's where I got into jazz. I moved to New York, got a scholarship to college, moved to New York, went to school for music. Being in New York, you meet a lot of musicians and started doing a lot of gigs with these people and on and off here and there, you know. That's kind of how I got into it. Um, the inspiration is people's reactions, you know. When people come tell me, oh, I had a baby to your music or, you know, your music made me cry or your music, you inspired me to play music or anything. When I could change someone's life, that, that's the inspiration for me, you know. It's not much different because when I was playing spiritual music, it was during an era, it was in the 90s, and it was during an era where spiritual music was mixing a lot with R&B music and hip-hop music. Kirk Franklin was very big, and he was bringing in this new sound of gospel music, so it was kind of already mixing. So when I was playing gospel music, I was always playing a little jazz and some other things, you know. So, briefly, I can't talk a lot about it. <laughs> Sony Music asked me to do the project because they're, Miles Davis's catalog is on Sony, and it's been 10 years since they did a remix album. So for the 10 year anniversary of the last remix album, they wanted to do another one. So they asked me to do this one. And of course, Miles is an inspiration to most musicians, you know what I mean? Um, through all, the, all of his band, his band leadership, his swagger on and off the stage, you know. Um, he's fairly, he's a fearless, a fearless artist, you know? Not afraid to do anything. Even if people say, what are you doing? He, he, doesn't, he doesn't care, you know, he's, he's always like, fuck you, you know. It was great to do this, to do the soundtrack for the movie as well, you know. Um, it was an honor to do that, because most musicians would like to do this, you know. Um, but Don Cheadle directed it and uh, starred in it. He, he told me he saw in me what he sees in Miles, um, because I, I genre skip around and I don't really care what people think. The people who don't have open mind, I don't care, you know? And he felt like I was, the guy, I was the person now that can bring Miles Davis to the younger generation so they can understand it a little bit better, you know? So I think that's why he chose me to do it, you know? So, but it's been a, it's been a great, great, uh, a great ride doing this. The, the movie came out today in the States. I'm scoring anything, so it was, it was hard because <laughs> I was on tour while I was scoring half of the movie. I had my keyboard and my little studio on my laptop, so I would do shows and go to the hotel room and work on music. It was interesting in that respect, um, but uh, it all came through good. You know, it, it was my first time scoring a movie, and it's Don Cheeto's first time directing a movie. So it's both of our first times doing it, you know. So we're just trying things out, you know. Yeah, I, you know what? I've been asked about acting. I, I want to do some acting. Um, people say I'm funny, and uh, they can see me on screen, you know. So um, I can see myself doing some acting at some point for sure, you know. Because that's my my natural personality. Is people say they can see it on TV, you know what I mean? So I can see that, and I'm extremely handsome, so. It's, you know, that's a given, duh, you know. So that makes sense. <laughs> um, well, there's a Blue Note 75th, Blue, there's a, like, like a kind of like a super group, Blue Note super group. People signed to Blue Note Records, um, and we did a record last year. It's gonna come out in a few months. Um, it's myself, Derek Hodge, bass, Leonel Loweke, Marcus Strickland, Ambrose Massacre, and Kendrick Scott on drums. Uh, so it's like a Blue Note Super Group thing, but that's coming out like, like a few months. There should be an experiment record coming this year too, another with this group. Um, 
hopefully maybe August, September, something like that. College. I met Casey in college, yeah. I met Casey in college, and I met Mark in college. You know, so that's why I said move, moving to New York was the best thing for me, because I met both of my bands, my trio and my experiment band, all in New York, mostly college, you know, being around other musicians that were high level in New York at, at school, you know. I think I've been asked everything, <laughs> especially now, because the Miles movie and the soundtrack just came out. I've been doing interviews every day. Wow, I'm going to hate Miles Davis after I finish this. <laughs> I hate Miles Davis! No, no, it's cool though. No, but uh, no, I think, I think it's, you know, yeah, all good. All right, thank you very much. No problem. No problem. <laughs>